Hello guys, it is the Ethan and Ethan show, and basically I'm just going to be showing you how to make a profile picture. Now it may not look top quality, but it will do. So first off, you're going to want to get Photoshop. If you don't know what Photoshop is, you might as well leave this video and go figure it out and then come back. Anyway, <clears throat> get Photoshop somehow. <clears throat> you did not see that. And um, go ahead and uh, launch it. One eternity later. Okay, we're here. So basically, you want to press on new, and then let that load, and then this window will come up. It's name new document. Okay, whatever. So what we're going to do is basically select pixels here, and then do 500 by 500 because that's all. That's basically what the YouTube profile picture with in height basically resolution bullcrap whatever that is profile picture okay, okay. so basically click, click on create me and then you'll have this nice little um, background thingy here as you can see it's white okay then not anymore okay okay um the whiteness is gone now so um basically you can launch up your chrome here or your whatever browser you like and um basically just search up um man just a background basically for your profile picture so do like a blue sunburst which is like Oh crap, I spelled that wrong. So basically, go to images on Google, search up blue sunburst or whatever you want to see, and as you can see, that's what a blue sunburst looks like. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. So, there you are. That's a blue sunburst, basically. Um, yeah kind of an eyesore for me. <clears throat> oh man. Voice crack. Okay. So, find one. View image, I guess. And then download it. However you download your photos from Google. Okay, so um, I have Chrome to set. I have Chrome set to automatically, basically show up the if it's a PNG file. Basically, it'll already come up in this window, and the photo will be there anyway. So basically, just go back to your Photoshop wherever it downloaded. It's most likely gonna be in your um, your um, downloads folder. Um, I'm just going to use this one that I have because I don't really want to fumble around with it. So, anyway, make it to size and then find the middle for it. So basically, if you have the um, purple lines on both sides, um, you should be in the middle. You will be pretty good. You'll, you'll be fine. And then, yeah. So there you go. That's it. Click on the check mark. Boom. There you go. Now go ahead and make a circle with the ellipse tool. Please bear with me here. Holy crap. Where is it? Where are my shapes? Where's my shapes? Okay, here they are. The ellipse tool. Make a circle. Easy enough. Whatever. And then... Oh my god. It didn't... Look, don't make it fill in. There you are. Okay. So if it fills it in, just uh, right here, click on fill and click on that. This right here. Um, yeah, pretty much that's all. And um, go ahead and make it. So this is basically the thickness. Um, make it as thick as you think it should be. 
and change the color maybe if you want it if you want to I suggest making it white and I suggest doing around 20 to 15 so I'll do mm, 21 that's good enough I don't really care and then you can basically close that and there you go and click on your moving tool once again make it centered um, it will tell you or basically show with those two lines that I showed you basically okay so it looks pretty much in the middle I guess I don't okay that's good enough it's centered it looks centered and it's pretty much telling me it's centered so basically select or uh, yeah right click on your ellipse tool ellipse one basically and then basically okay so you right click it click on blending options this menu will come up so bevel and emboss um go ahead and check that and contour texture you can mess around with that. Um, drop shadow basically means it's a shadow. So whether you want it on the inside or basically they're both the same. Oh uh, yeah. So um, click it. You know, make it make it spread whatever. Make the size whatever. So um. I'll do 33, 33, okay, 33, 33, distance zero, opacity, basically, I think that looks pretty cool, um, it's like a shadow but it's like an outline at the same time, so I think that looks pretty cool, I'll click on okay, so, now what you really want to do is go to defonts.com. Did not mean to type that, you know what I mean? And you can find a ton of fonts here. And um Funny Barber. Funny Barber looks cool. I'm gonna download that. And then click on it. And then basically you'll just have this file. Double click on it. Funny Barber, TTF, click on install, click the X button, and you can basically close out of everything except for PowerPoint in this video or whatever. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> all that font stuff you can just close out of that. Anyway, so text tool. So you want to put your name. So we're done with the ellipse, right? So we're gonna put, oh yeah, okay. Okay, so you wanna basically put your name. So, hmm, I'll just make up a name, random gamer xd. Let's put random gamer. So, so really, honestly, fonts on here are messed up. So. I'll just put gamer. <clears throat> and you can click on the um, the check mark because you can move this into the middle. Okay. okay, that's good enough. So gamer and then you can click on the text thing again. Highlight that and make it you know as big you know as small as you want it so put that okay that's pretty good pretty pretty good oh, let's change the font to that font that we downloaded what was it called what was it called I think it was called yep that was funny barber so okay okay so highlight it all Make it as big as you want it to be. 
try not to go outside the circle. So here you can change the color. Um, change it to your liking. I'll change that to this because let's see here. I'm gonna choose a color. Okay, yellow. Okay, whatever. Yellow. So that's it. So then, blending options on this. Drop shadow. You no, know, do whatever your shadow opacity kind of turn it down if you want so make like a shadow and I'll mess with these settings okay so um, I think we have a pretty good logo um, click on file so once you're so basically once you're done click on file export and then export as now this will basically render out the image, do all that stuff, and if it will come up here, alright, here it is, so, says that, whatever, blah blah blah, make sure it's 500 by 500, and basically just export it, and then, it will come up with this export window, so you can basically just rename it to whatever and then choose wherever you want it I don't really care put it somewhere save it and basically there you are and then go to whatever and then wherever you saved it and go to your file and there you go you now have an image that you can somewhat upload to your channel here and yeah there you go hope you guys enjoyed and peace out uh, oh yeah by the way i may or may not do banner tutorials even though i kind of suck at that but that'll be a different video bye